Hi parents, this is Pastor Jason here at the Fort Faith. Um, we're just going to give a short message, a recap of what we spoke on this Sunday, so you can sit with your kids and listen to the message and follow along in your Bibles. Um, we're going to go over that Jesus is the bridge, and we're going to be speaking out of John 14, 6, um, and that goes, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And that was our power verse, and that is our power verse, so... We hope you can memorize it with your kids. Hopefully they can remember it, that it's one of my favorite Bible verses. And we're talking about, again, is Jesus is the bridge. How Jesus was in heaven, living as a king with his father. Everything was good in heaven. Everything was great. There was no problems. And one day Jesus looked down to the earth and saw that people turned away from God. That they couldn't save themselves, that there was a lot of sin. They were trying to offer sacrifices and nothing they did could get them back to God because we learned that sin separates us from God. So Jesus decided to step down from heaven, off his throne, and be born of a virgin to Mary and Joseph, and was born into a manger, a dark manger with smelly farm animals, swaddling clothes, not the place you'd expect a king to be. And so a mighty king humbled himself and came down to earth to, to bring us back to God because we were separated. And so Jesus grew up and he began to teach and preach. And one of the things he told all the people was that I am the way. That there is no other way except through me. And he told his people and people started to believe him and follow him. But this upset some people. His own people, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they were upset by what Jesus was saying. saying, how can anybody say that they're the way? That the only way to God is through them. So these people turned against Jesus. They looked to overthrow him. They looked to, to murder him. And so they set out to hang him on a cross and crucify him on that cross. And in doing so, they put him to death and he died on that cross. But as we learned Sunday and we learned tonight that he came back three days later and rose from the grave and he overcame sin and death. And he paid for our sins once and for all on that cross. And so going into our lesson, we learned that Jesus is the center of everything. That if we want to get back to God, there's only one way. And that's through Jesus. That our sin separates us. That God is completely holy, completely righteous. That he cannot look at sin. He turns against sin. He hates sin. And everything we do cannot get us back to God. But there is a person, and that's Jesus. That if we follow Jesus, if we put our faith in him, that we can get back to God. And we learn that our sin has a payment, and that payment is death. And not just physical death, but death in our friendships, and our relationships, our emotional senses, everything that sin does comes to death. But Jesus paid that penalty once and for all on the cross. And we thank him for that. And so we learn that he is the way that if we want to get back to God, if we want to bridge that gap, we have to trust Jesus. We might think that we need to do a lot of good things in our lives, a lot of good works. But no good works, no amount of good we do in our lives will get us back to Jesus. That if we think we can buy our way into heaven, if we tithe a lot, if we give all the money in our bank, that still won't get us in heaven back to God. Or maybe we try to follow other religions or other people and think, well, maybe if I follow another religion or another person, I can get to God. But that won't get you that way either. Jesus said it, that he is the only way. And so how do, we, how do we get across this bridge? By simply putting our faith alone in Jesus. By putting all our faith in Jesus and what he did on the cross for forgiving of us our sins, dying for us, and saying, Jesus, you're my Lord and Savior. And that's all it takes. It's simply putting our faith in Jesus to get across that bridge. So we want to remember that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. That there's no other way but Jesus. That he bridges the gap that sin creates in our lives, that sin separates. And so if we want to get back to God, if we want to get back to heaven, if we want to spend eternity with Jesus, all we've got to do is put our faith in him. Remember this thing. So once again, our power verse is John 14, 6, which is Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So I hope you read this story over with your family. I hope you guys do it together with your kids. Now, I'm shortly going to pray for you guys, your families, as through the situation. So let's bow our heads and pray. So, Lord, we thank you for, for your word, Lord. We thank you that you are the way, Lord, that you can get us back to heaven. That no matter what sin we do, Lord, that what you did on the cross will bring us back to you. So we ask during these times, Lord, that you create new bridges in our lives with our families. Give us wisdom and a strategy, Lord, for the days ahead, Lord. And once again, Lord, we thank you that you are the way. I thank you for my four family friends, um, just all my family that comes here on Sundays and Wednesdays, Lord. We miss them. And we can't wait to see them again. We thank you for all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.